Sages, your grand I am statement is that your dreams and wishes are going to come true. You are the happiest girl alive. You're the happiest man alive. You're the happiest married man alive. You're the happiest playwright alive. You're the happiest musician alive. Your grand I am statement is your wishes will come true, that you are your wishes. Okay. Now that said, being you are your wishes, you've got to look at what you're putting your heart into every day and ask you, is this on the path of what your heart really wants? Or are you investing in things that your heart doesn't really want that you're sort of mad about? If you're not crazy excited and banging pots and pans out of enthusiasm, you're on the wrong path, Sag. You're not on the path of your personal dreams and wishes. So this whole week is about sort of really removing actions and behavior that are not in alignment with your personal dreams. Okay. So getting rid of things that are not in alignment with your personal dreams. Now, this means that you are going to have to withdraw from social connections. The earth self node means you have certain friendships, certain connections, certain agreements to the public, certain perceptions in the public, certain reputations. You're going to have to back away from certain relations in public for you to be able to go for what your heart really wants. The Mercury retrograde is going from the grand I am, I get my all my dreams come true, to the path of least the path of least resistance of creativity, love. And this is also the path of least resistance when it comes to your childhood and also when it comes to your children. So it's your inner child issues as well, finding the path of least resistance. <clears throat> if you are still angry at your parents for a bad childhood, that is a resistant inner child. So you've got to free up your inner child here, Sagittarius. Now, the Neptune-Venus uh, Neptune Venus conjunction is about emotional security. Your destiny is to be emotionally secure and grounded. And I know that's really far-fetched. Most Sages I know are here today, gone tomorrow. Can't catch them. They're like the gingerbread man. I can't catch them. But I think that the destined Sag is going to be a grounded Sag. They're going to be a castle onto their own right. It's serious job.